Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow to Born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update where today we're going to be looking at this brand new concept or prototype by Mac Rides. It's not exactly a ride itself, it's a form of train. They've officially announced it, we knew it was going to come to a brand new coaster in Australia next year, but they've actually announced this as an actual prototype, a brand new train that can be added to any Mac roller coaster. So it'll be interesting to see who's next to get this kind of train. It's called the hybrid train. And what this is, is basically a spinning car on the back of a launch coaster. It's basically what Dreamland, uh, Dreamworld Australia is doing next year with their new coaster. Uh, so we're going to talk about all, all about it and share my thoughts on this concept as well. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we're over halfway to 1 million views, which is unbelievable. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, we've got loads of projects coming up next year, new website, hopefully new merchandise, uh, new memberships paid, uh, new monetization. It's all going to go off on the channel next year, hopefully if all goes to plan, fingers crossed. And uh, it should be interesting. So for now, guys, let's get straight into this and let's have a look at the brand new hybrid train by Mac Rides. So Mac Rides is introducing a brand new enhancement that can add spinning seats onto new and existing Mac Rides roller coasters. Now the official name is called Hybrid Train and it will be used on the brand new Dream World coaster for 2021. We already knew it was going to have a spinning train at the back anyway, but that will be the first official coaster with the brand new Hybrid Train. Uh, now this is a, a clever development by Matt Rides in my opinion. I mean you can see the video officially from Matt Rides already on your screen. Massive shout out to them. Uh, for having uh, for, for for this video itself and um, you know I think this is very interesting this is um, definitely an interesting project in my opinion I think that uh, Matt Rides has done an incredible job with this ride and like I said the dream world coaster is the first that's gonna have this particular um, element should we say this this hybrid train uh, now this is still scheduled to open in 2020 according to Rollercoaster database, but I reckon they could delay it till early 2021 uh, But I could be wrong, uh, but it is tw still 2020 as it stands on the Rollercoaster database So for those of you who need some stats on this coaster it has a length of 3,494.1 feet a height of 128 feet a speed of 62.1 miles per hour four inversions on a g-force of four G's and of course a bank angle of 94 degrees with a capacity of 820 riders per hour and of course this is a near copy of blue fire at europa park the original used a single pass launch while this will use a forward backward forward multi-pass launch incorporating a vertical spike kind of like star trek operation enterprise at movie park germany and of course we knew the last of one of the two trains will spin and of course that is what's now known as the hybrid train so it should be interesting to see what other mac coasters will get the hybrid train so there we go that is looking my friends at the brand new uh hybrid train from mac rides now this is definitely a very good concept in my opinion i think that it's nice to have that sort of hybrid element uh, and it's taking the spinning coaster and putting it onto the launch coaster. And, it, and it's putting it onto any coaster as well. You know, you, you could have a, a new Mac inverted coaster and you might have a spinning train at the back. You never, never know. It can be done inverted. It can be done steel, sit down. It could be launch. It could be anything. So I like how Mac Rides are incorporating this new hybrid train as part of their development and it'd be interesting to see like i said which coasters get it next because of course we know that dream world's coaster in my opinion i think it'll open in 2021 very early on but i think it's looking likely even though i didn't say it before it's going to be 2020 um you know end of 2020 because of course australia's seasons are very different but you know it'd be interesting to see who's next you know copperhead striker carowinds is that next in line helix at leesburg uh, Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, maybe not. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see that on, on Icon, but uh, you never know. Uh, <laughs> but it should be interesting to see what they're going to do with this. It should be interesting to see who's next for the hybrid train. Um, and also not just existing Mac coasters, because of course this new one for Dreamworld uh, at the end of this year, uh, going into possibly 2021, is it's going to be, you know... A coaster from scratch that's going to open this new hybrid train it's not just pre-existing coasters there could be new mac launch coasters or new mac coasters that could include this hybrid train 
with the opening of the actual coaster itself. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be like a guessing game, isn't it? It's like waiting for who's going to make the next move. It's like a game of chess uh, that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coaster Shall. Keep them the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.